Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're in Belvedere, Illinois, in the Mopar happenings in uh, Boone County Fairground. They're wrapping up right now, but I'm here with Rollin. Rollin, what's your last name? Rollin Westra. Westra, and Rollin's got a great car. He's got a Chrysler 300. Let me have you talk about it. What'd you bring here today? Well, a 62 Chrysler 300H uh, convertible. Uh, I've had it for 35 years or so, and uh, restored and put it in the show today. 35 years, it's a member of the family. It is a member of the family, that's How, right. How'd you end up getting this one? Where'd you find it? Well, it was in uh, northern Wisconsin. It, I found it, located it through the members of the 300 Club. Yeah. And uh, it was for sale up there, so I went up and got it. What kind of reaction when you're driving this do you get? Well, people are impressed with that. It's got some <laughs> of the old style yet, and it, uh, they, they like the cars. So. I'm telling you, let's take a look. Step on back with me. Let's look at our featured attraction. We put it right in the sun just the right way, and that is stellar in your rear view mirror. What an amazing car. The 300 is the, uh, the 300 was originally because of the 300 horsepower, correct me if I'm wrong. That's correct. And then they obviously kept kind of moving up with it. Look at even like the, uh, the details just in the sides and the contours down the side. I'm gonna do the other side just because it's in the light and you can kind of see that a little smoother. Just the body lines there. And the Chrysler here. Just a lot of great detail in the car. Even in the mirror, so you can kind of see your fingers through there. Come on with me, Ronald. What, uh, what drew you to the 300? It's the luxury end of the, the model, would you say? Uh, it is. It's the performance part, it's, but it's made on the luxury car platform, the C body platform. But yeah. I mean, uh, just spectacular with the uh, styling, the convertible top. How many convertibles did they have at that time? 123 of the uh, each convertible. 123. How many do you think are still in this kind of condition? Well, not too many. There's still a few of them around. There's still probably 30, 35 around. The antenna. So there's probably 35 around that we're aware of. I'm guessing that, yeah. yeah. Such a clean car. Now you've had it restored. How long ago was the restoration? Well, uh, the first restoration was probably uh, 30 years ago, and uh, I redid it uh, six years ago, bringing it up to show car standard. Where does the gas go in? Is it behind the plate? Behind the license. Plate. Okay, behind the plate. Okay. Let's open up the uh, interior. I like how they have the, thank you. I like how they have the uh, 300 in the door there, like so. Very custom with the matting, the bench seats, and the dual bench seats in the back with the unmistakable 300 there in the center. And then the convertible top will sit inside it so you can see this. And I just want to show, there's the, the plate inside the door jam. The push button uh, transmission. Right. Tell, tell me what this dashboard's called. And that's the Ast Astrodome dashboard. Came out in 1960. The Astrodome dashboard. Probably one of the most amazing Chrysler dashboards ever. No light bulb in there. It's all electroluminescent. Wow. That would be a treat at night, right? Yes, it is. Very nice at night. And a great steering wheel. I mean, you can see it's almost kind of clear here. Yes. And then you've got the horn down in the bottom. I just want to take one step back so people can kind of take that steering wheel in because that's a unique wheel. And I like how the top is open so you could see the components. That's nice. Yeah. They really thought this one through. And again, it might be one of the most amazing interior dashboards ever. So all of the power windows are here on the console. Correct. And what is this? Is this an ashtray? It's or? an ashtray, yeah. Okay. And then the, look at the 
It's the air conditioning air ducts. Air conditioning it ducts. It also serves a, a dual purpose as the defroster duct. The defroster duct. All right, let's open up the hood, please. We're going to take our time and feature your car only because I think they said with the uh, air temperature, it's uh, over 100 degrees right yeah. now. and. Uh, the humidity is uh, the, the same potentially rain. <laughs> so, so I'm I'm dripping as I'm looking at your car. I'm trying not to drip on your car, but a great all stock. Now that's dual quads under there. That's right, dual four bro. And let me zone into that. Tag there. And read that if you like. Let's start it up for a moment. Let's hear what she sounds like. And the air conditioning on a convertible in this time period, that's pretty unique. It is. Get just a little exhaust note. Look at that clock of grass. It speaks for itself. Very smooth, really, really smooth. All right now, let's let's shut her down. And we'll close the hood. Our second Chrysler 300H you have, and such a treat. Thanks for being on my car story. Okay, thank you.